Good morning, my dear students. Uh, today's our lecture is on uh, heat engines. This is the unit of uh, unit four of uh, engineering thermodynamics. That is BME zero one nine. This uh, this unit is uh, for the BTEC mechanical engineering computer integrated manufacturing program. So today we will learn about the heat engines. So introduction. In this in this unit. we will learn about how heat and work are mutually convertible these conversions are indeed very important in engineering practice the working principle of a few devices that actually convert heat to work and work to heat are explained we also discuss about the performance characteristics of such devices or engines so what is actually how heat and uh, work are mutually convertible and what type of devices will be used for the, this heat and uh, work are mutually convertible so that will learn in this unit so what are the objectives first after studying this unit you will be able to explain the concept of heat engines distinguish between uh, direct and reverse heat engines calculate the efficiency of a direct heat engine and cop of a reversed heat engines so these are the objectives of a, uh, this unit so after studying this unit you, we will be able to learn the we will able to calculate the efficiency and cop of the heat engines as well as we will learn about the concept of heat engine so distinguish between what are uh, what is the direct heat, heat engine or reversed heat engine these are our objectives so first we will learn about the steam power plant so wherever the first uh, how the heat and uh, work are mutually convertible that we will learn by uh, knowing the steam power plant so steam power, how the steam power plant works also we will able to learn so in this steam power plant uh, what are the devices we will use to produce the steam or uh, generate the power so what are the devices first one is the pump and then boiler pump what is the work of a pump pump it pumps the water to the boiler so what is the boiler boiler works as a it uh, it gives uh, some uh, heat to the water and generates the steam so that is the boiler's work and then turbine so how what is the turbine so the steam will uh, rotate the turbine so by rotating the turbine it works and it uh, it works the uh, it develops the work and uh, uh, rotates the shaft so this is the turbine's work and then Uh, again the here the cycle will be completed whatever the work will generate uh, through the steam that will be generated that is uh, the, the wt and then remain uh, main is uh, the water again it comes to the condenser so like this is the cycle so how the steady flow of water at high pressure enters the boiler so in the boiler high pressure uh, the uh, pressure water will be entered to the boiler here the heat transfer from heat transfer q1 from the combustion products so the combustion products fuels or coal will be burned in the uh, boiler so with that the heat will be given to the water so the q1 uh, the heat transfer will be taken place so causes the water to boil the high pressure steam that generated leaves the boiler studied uh, steadily to enter the turbine then the steam expands in the turbine to deliver the shaft work wt the low pressure steam leaving the, so here in the turbine it will the work will be developed that is the wt so the, uh, then the low pressure steam leaving the turbine enters the water cool condenser where it is condensed because heat transfer q2 to the cooling water takes place in the condenser so like this the cycle is uh, working so a steady flow of condensed water enters the boiler uh, the work supplied to the pump wt is usually very small so here we, we are not considering that the uh, whatever the work we are giving to the pump is a very small work that's why we are uh, saying that is very small and comparison to other inter interactions the uh, mentioned in the customary to neglect the magnitude of this work in the analysis of the steam power plant so here we are not considering the wp whatever the, this is the minimum work we are giving to the uh, pump to uh, uh, pump the water so the, the, uh, like this the steam power plant works so first the, uh, the pump uh, pump you know, pump will uh, pumps the water to the boiler 
and where the uh, water will be uh, given heat the heat will be given to the water through boiler in that so here the steam will be generated and it again it goes to the uh, the high pressure high temperature uh, steam will go uh, expands in the turbine there work w2 will be developed so like this this cycle will be closed so the steam power plant works like this during this cycle cyclic process it occurs four interactions so what happens here the four inter interactions taking place one is q1 the heat transfer to the system so where the heat transfer is taking place we are uh, giving we are uh, we are burning some coal or like uh, some fuels so the, there we are giving some heat to the system or uh, heat is uh, giving to the water like that so that is q1 and then wt that is work output from the system so work we are generating from the system work is producing from the system in the turbine that is that's why we are showing it as a wt so and then q2 the heat transfer from the system whatever heat generated and whatever the heat we are used for generating some work or producing some work that is again uh, uh, sent to the condenser where again we can use that water so we we'll, uh, we have to cool that water in the condenser so like that the condenser here the heat will be generated to to the or heat heat will be flown from the system to the surroundings so that is q2 that is heat transfer from the system so uh, next the uh, fourth one is wp the work input is given to the pump so uh, then by sign uh, uh, how we will show this sign conventions of this uh, q1 wt wq uh, q2 and wp so by the sign convention while q1 and w2 are positive why because we are uh, the, we are giving some input uh, that is q1 to the system that is um, uh, here that is q1 is positive and wt we are producing some work from the system by the system that's why it is positive and q2 and wt are negative so uh, qt is given to the surroundings so whatever the heat is going from the system that's why we are showing it is a negative but we are giving some work to uh, produce some other work so that is wp that's why we are showing it as a negative these are the sign conventions of a um, uh, sign conventions then so uh, we have to calculate the uh, efficiency of that uh, uh, thermal power plant or whatever the system we are saying device or system or uh, thermal power here we are taking as thermal power plant so for that we will use the first law of thermodynamics in the first law of thermodynamics what it says whatever the input is given that much of uh, work output will be coming out so whatever what are these inputs we are giving here q, the heat inputs are q1 plus minus q2 why we are showing it is minus so some uh, heat is going outside from the system that's why we are showing it as a minus q2 that is q1 minus q2 the plus of minus q2 that is equal to wt the work developed in the turbine that is that is shown as a wt plus of uh, minus wp that is the some work given to the pump to uh, uh, pump the water that that's why we are showing it as minus so or we can write q1 minus q2 that is equal to wt minus wp so this is the uh, by applying first law we will know this then the efficiency of the power plant how we will calculate the efficiency or you can say the performance of a device is usually evaluated by its efficiency which is defined as the ratio of output to the input of the system whatever the output we are getting that is divided by the input whatever the input we are giving that is the efficiency of a uh, that device or uh, steam power plant here output of the steam power plant is is equal to wt minus wp whatever the uh, the work developed in the turbine that is wt the uh, minus wp whatever work we are given to the pump to uh, work the pump so that is and the input is heat transfer in the boiler or you can say we have uh, some input is given to the boiler to boil the water that is q1 so uh, these are the output and input so then the efficiency of a power plant or cycle th that will say, say that uh, thermal efficiency or uh, uh, ef uh, cycle efficiency of a plant that is uh, given as efficiency is equal to wt minus wp by q1 that is equal to one uh, that is also we can write as 1 minus q2 by q1 heat transfer 1 uh, minus heat transfer to uh, from the system by the heat transfer to the system that is the efficiency of a 
thermal power plant. Like this, we will calculate the efficiency of a, th a thermal power plant. So, I think now you, uh, you, be, you will be able to understand that what are the devices we are using in the steam power plant, how they will work, what for they are using and all these things you will learn about uh, steam power plant. So, next, uh, the, that is closed cycle gas turbine power plant. In, the, in this also, closed uh, cycle gas turbine plant, here also four uh, devices we will use. Here one is instead of uh, uh, pump, we are using the compressor. So in this, why we are compressing, so compressor is using because it is, the, we are uh, developing the gas. So for, uh, we are using the work, uh, working fluid as a gas for the uh, gas power, uh, uh, power plant. So for that, here uh, compressor will be uh, one, of, uh, one device and next is the combustion products that is instead of boiler, we are say, using here heater and then the turbine the same and next the cooling cooler we are using to cool the uh, 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 air. So, these are the four uh, uh, devices we are using in the closed cycle gas turbine power plant. So, how it works? The working of a gas turbine power plant. Compressed air from the compressor is heated steadily in the heater by the heat transfer Q1 from the combustion products. High temperature, high pressure air is then expanded steadily as it flows through a turbine. As a result of this expansion process, the turbine delivers shaft work WT and the air leaves the turbine at low pressure and low temperature. So, uh, then the low pressure air from the turbine is then cooled in the cooler, in, the, in turn is sucked into the compressor to be compressed and delivered to the heater again. The turbine and the compressor are normally mounted on the same shaft so that the work required for the compre uh, compression is provided by directly by the turbine. Whatever the work now developed, that is we are using to uh, uh, work, uh, working the compressor. So the net work output of the plant is thus WT, uh, WT minus WP. Here, how the uh, first of all, the compressor, how uh, the air will be compressed to the uh, the uh, air will be compressed by the compressor to the uh, heater where the com uh, by giving the heat to the uh, heater uh, the heat to the air the air uh, the gas will be produced in the heater and this high pressure high temperature gas will be expanded in the turbine the same work will be developed uh, uh, in the turbine so and whatever the work will be developed by the turbine which we are using instantly to run the compressor. So that is why we are writing it as a, in the steam power plant what we have given only WT work whatever the work we are developed is WT. But here we are directly giving some work whatever some work is given to at that time only given to compressor to compress the air. So that is why we are writing what the um, work developed by the turbine is WT minus WC. So that is the Again, the air uh, expanded uh, exp um, after expansion, the low pressure, low temperature air will be uh, going to the cooler where it will be cooled and the, um, the heat will be transferred to the uh, 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 outside the system. So, that is why we are say, showing it is Q2. So, this is the working of a closed cycle gas uh, turbine power plant. So, then the refrigerator. So, in the refrigerator also we are having the four devices, here uh, expansion device and uh, evaporator, then compressor, then condenser. These are the four devices in the refrigerator we are using and same like that we, uh, how the refrigerator works also we will learn. The working substance that undergoes the cycle is referred as the, referred as the refrigerant. So, in the refrigerator what we are using, uh, one refrigerant, some refrigerants are there. Um, the ammonia and uh, some uh, R2, R2L, R28, all these things are uh, given as a refrigerant. It has given in the uh, uh, units. So, here I have not mentioned. So, some refrigerant will be used as the working fluid. Here, heat Q2 is transferred to the refrigerant in the evaporator to maintain a low temperature. So, what is the refrigerator? We have to uh, 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 maintain the temperature in a room or some uh, container to uh, required level. So, maintain the lower level uh, than the outside surroundings level. The temperature will be uh, lower than the outside surroundings. That we have to maintain in the refrigerator. The main principle is we have to maintain the lower temperature inside the chamber or room somewhere. So, that is the uh, 
refrigerator, refrigerator how the refrigerator works so as a consequence of this heat transfer the liquid refrigerant causing from the expansion device gets vaporized in the evaporator and the low pressure low temperature vapor leaves the evaporator to enter the compressor the work wc is supplied to the compressor from the electrical mains so here the compressor will be uh, working by a, some electrical input to the compressor so it will the compressor will work and the pre, um, uh, it increase increases the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant so refrigerant uh, temperature increase karne ke liye we, we are we are using the uh, compressor so uh, refrigerant vapor as it passes through the compressor the compressed vapor passes to the air cooled condenser heat q1 is transferred from the refrigerant to the surroundings so whatever the refrigerant uh, uh, low temperature will be uh, 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 temp uh, transferred to the surroundings at air this is at a temperature higher than the temperature inside the uh, refrigerator cabinet so the high pressure liquid refrigerant is then throttled through a expansion device before it enters the evaporator as low pressure low temperature liquid to complete the cycle of events so like this this is the how the refrigerator will works we have learned then we have to find out the efficiency of or you can say that cop of coefficient of performance of a refrigerator that is nothing but output to the input that is equal to uh, sigma q is equal to sigma w that whatever the heat is given is equal to whatever the work will be developed by the system or refrigerator that is q2 the heat interaction at the evaporator is positive and q1 the heat interaction at the condenser is negative wc the work input to the compressor is negative so we are giving some work to the compressor that's why it is showing as a negative so hence the that is equal to minus q1 plus q2 that is equal to minus wc or you can write q1 minus q2 that is equal to wc so cop of refrigerant is equal to uh, that is output what that is uh, that you can say w uh, q2 by wc or you can write uh, q2 by q1 minus q2 wc is equal to q1 minus q2 that's why we are writing it as a cop of refrigerant is equal to q2 by q1 minus uh, uh, q2 that is a heat uh, work developed by the uh, system or refrigerant then uh, the ne next one is what we learn first is uh, steam power plant then uh, gas uh, gas power plant or you can say gas uh, 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 turbine plant or then uh, refrigerator now we will go for the heat pump so in the heat pump uh, how it works a cool climate in co cold climates it may be necessary to provide a relatively high temperature region like a heated room this can be achieved by a heat pump so in the refrigerator we uh, will develop a low temperature compared to the, to the surroundings but here uh, the in the heat pump how it works the it maintains the high temperature in the cab cabinet or room and uh, comparatively to the outside so this is the uh, heat pumps work whose operation is exactly similar to that of a refrigerator in the heat pump q1 the heat transfer to the uh, heat transfer to high temperature region uh, to maintain the high temperature region heat is continuously transferred to it from the low temperature surroundings so here the surrounding temperature will be less so with the help of work supplied to the compressor so this is the working of a heat uh, heat pump so cop of heat pump will be q1 by q2 uh, q1 by wc that is equal to q1 by q1 minus q2 or you can write one one plus cop of a refrigerator so uh, the relation between the refrigerator and cop you can say that the, to find out the um, uh, cop of a heat pump you can write one plus so if you know the cop of a refrigerant you can find out the cop of a heat pump that is one plus cop of a refrigerant this is the uh, heat, how the heat pump works then the next one is heat engine so heat engine is continuously operating thermodynamic system <coughs> across the boundary of which these are only heat and work interaction takes place 
So thus a refrigerator and a heat pump cycle in which the heat and work interactions are in opposite directions. Direct <coughs> opposite direction. So, direct heat engine and reverse heat engines are the two terms generally used to disting uh, distinguish between the work producing and work observing. So, heat engine how the heat engine works, so, uh, the, uh, it works uh, the heat will be transferred from the high temperature region to the low temperature region. So, that is why we are calling it as a, as a heat engine. So, here another the two types of heat engines are there, one is uh, direct heat engine and next one is uh, a, a reversed heat engine. So, in the direct heat engine, the heat engine which delivers work by receiving heat from a high temperature reservoir and rejecting heat to a low temperature reservoir is called a direct heat engine. What is happening in the heat engine? Uh, temperature the uh, is transferred from the high temperature to the low temperature. So, that is why the, the, the uh, that is why we are calling it is, as a direct heat engine. So, for example, we can say that steam power plant or closed, uh, closed cycle gas turbine power plants, these are the direct heat engines. We can say these are the examples of a direct heat engine. Then, reversed heat engine, that is heat engine which transfers heat from a low temperature a reservoir to a high temperature reservoir by receiving work from its surroundings mm, is a reversed heat engine. So, to actually from low temperature, uh, high temperature reservoir to low temperature it is easy. So, instead of to from but it is a high temperature to low, uh, low temperature to high temperature uh, we uh, will use some work b or by uh, 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 keeping an engine to, uh, by giving some work to the engine we can uh, send the uh, heat from low, uh, higher temperature to the lower temperature. So, this is the reverse, that is why we are calling it as a reversed heat engine. So, uh, what are the examples of a refrigerator, uh, examples of a reverse heat engine? So, one a refrigerator and second one is the heat pump. So, these are the two examples of a reversed heat engine. The, uh, here, how the direct heat engine is shown, here in this how T1 is the high temperature reservoir, where from there Q1 heat is transferred to the uh, 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 lower temperature reservoir that is Q2 by using the some engine. So, the engine it works, so work will be developed in the engine that is shown as a W. So, the, uh, like this the direct heat engine will be worked. And uh, reverse heat engine, the flow is reverse. So, uh, from low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir the heat is transferred. So, uh, and uh, for that we are giving some work. That is why we are showing the work is given to the uh, reversed heat engine. So, but in that uh, uh, direct heat engine we are developing some work. Here we are giving some work. So, that uh, to uh, send the uh, uh, heat from low temperature reservoir to the high temperature reservoir. This is a reversed heat engine. So, I think uh, students, uh, you, uh, you have learned about the uh, uh, heat engines and in this what we have learned, one is steam power plant, how the steam power plant work and how the uh, steam, uh, the next gas power uh, plant will be worked and then how the refrigerator works, then heat pump, then heat engines, direct heat engine and reverse heat engine. So, I think you uh, after studying this unit, you will able to uh, uh, know, you able to understand the how heat engine works uh, and the steam power plant works and uh, how do you, uh, how you will calculate the efficiency of a th thermal power plant or uh, refrigerator or um, you can say and uh, uh, direct heat engine. So, uh, so by this uh, we, uh, we will uh, uh, able to know. So, the heat engines, how the heat engines are working. So, then we will solve some problems. In this, uh, uh, suppose you take one example, that is, uh, in a steam power plant, the work output of a turbine is 100 kilojoules. So, uh, the output, how the turbine, how much uh, uh, turbine is developing, that is 100 kilojoules of work output is developing in the turbine. That is, WT it is given and then while heat supplied at the boiler is, that is what is heat supplied? 
300 kilojoules that is uh, how, uh, 300 that is q1 so uh, then given that during the same period work input to the pump so pump also required some work so we have learned uh, about the uh, how the pump will work so that is uh, uh, work input that is wp that is 0 0.5 kilojoules to find the heat rejected at the condenser and thermal efficiency of a plant what is in the problem what it is asking the q2 we have to find out q2 uh, what is the heat rejected at the condenser so that is q2 and thermal efficiency of the plant so here solution is the applying the first law of thermodynamics uh, that is q1 uh, q1 minus q2 that is equal to wp wt minus wp so here in the uh, it is given that in the problem uh, q1 is given that is uh, 300 kilo uh, 300 kilo joules that is uh, we have to substitute that uh, whatever the data given so uh, q1 is given and uh, uh, efficiency also uh, efficient uh, uh, work input uh, work developed by the turbine is also given that is 100 uh, I think, uh, 100 kilo joules and uh, in the boiler uh, input is 300 kilojoules so that by substituting 300 minus q2 that is equal to 100 minus uh, that is wp w wc that is 0 0.5 kilojoules of work so by solving this equation we will get the heat heat uh, transferred from the condenser that is q2 that is 200.5 kilojoules of heat is transferred uh, to the surroundings from the condenser so uh, li like this we will find out the uh, heat heat transferred in the uh, condenser that is q2 and then uh, that is efficiency we have to calculate the efficiency efficiency is equal to uh, the wt minus wp by q1 that is equal to 100 uh, that is 100 minus 0 0.5 by 300 that is equal to uh, by calculating we will get 0.33 or you can say it as a the efficiency of a uh, uh, um, power plant is equal to 33 percent so like this we uh, will uh, we'll able to calculate the efficiency and also we can uh, heat uh, 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 transfer from the uh, condenser that is q2 also we have calculated like this we can calculate the uh, uh, efficiencies of a steam power plant then next example is a refrigerator a refrigerator with, uh, with a COP of uh, 4.0 transfers heat at a rate of uh, 0 0.5 kilojoules at the condenser and find the rate of heat transfer at the evaporator and the power input to the con uh, compressor. Also calculate the COP if the refrigerator were to operate as a heat pump with same heat and work interactions. So uh, what is the input is given? COP of a the efficiency of uh, coefficient performance of a refrigerator it is given that is 4 and then uh, heat at the uh, transfers heat transfer is also given that is Q1 that is uh, 0 0.5 kilojoules so we have to find out the COP of the uh, also the operator and the power input to the compressor so here what is this uh, the, uh, solution COP of refrigerator that is equal to 4 and Q1 that is uh, 0 0.5 kilojoules per second. So to find out the COP of uh, refrigerator that is equal to Q2 by WC. The uh, Q2 or you can uh, substitute by substituting the value of COP that is 4 that is a 4 into WC that is the one equation we will get and then uh, from first law by applying, applying first law q1 minus q2 is equal to wc so in this uh, we know only the, the, the q1 q1 is given in the data that is 0 0.5 uh, kilojoules per second minus q2 that is equal to equal to wc that is the work uh, 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 compressor work so uh, by uh, first equation in that uh, equation what we get q2 is equal to 4.0 into wc so where we can uh, we, by knowing wc wc is, is equal to q2 by w q2 by 4 so by substituting the value of wc we will substitute in this equation we will get uh, we will get 0 0.4 minus uh, q2 that is equal to you know, 0 0.5 so it is wrong 0 0.5 minus q2 is equal to q2 by 4 that is equal to uh, 
uh, 0.5 is equal to q2 by 4 plus q2. So the q2 will be transferred to the uh, uh, another side. So q2 by 4 is plus q2 that is equal to uh, 0.5 into uh, 4 that is equal to 5 into q2. So q2 is equal to 2 upon um, 5 that is equal to 0 0.4 kilojoules per second. So uh, like this we will find out the q2. Then uh, by knowing the q1 and q2 and wc also we know. So we will uh, able to calculate the COP of a heat pump that is equal to q1 upon wc that is equal to 0 0.5 by 0 0.1. WC we got zero as 0 0.1. So, we will get the uh, COP of heat pump is equal to 5. Uh, this is also we can calculate L, uh, by uh, learn earlier that is COP of heat pump is equal to 1 plus COP of refrigerator. So, uh, the, that is equal to 1 plus uh, already given COP of refrigerator is 4. So, 1 plus 4 that is equal to 5. So, by, by two methods we will able to calculate the COP of a heat pump. So, like this we can solve the problems. So, I think uh, dear students again uh, if uh, we will we'll go for uh, so in this uh, heat engines what we have learned one is uh, how the uh, steam power plant works. So, steam power, steam power plant uh, contains the four devices one is boiler pump, condenser and turbine. So, this is the one, uh, one device where uh, the heat engines you can say that we will learn. Then next one is uh, closed cycle gas uh, turbine power plant that it, it, which is also consists of four devices that is con, uh, compressor, heater, turbine and cooler. Uh, here in the uh, this uh, gas turbine plant we are using working fluid as a air. So, uh, our air is the working fluid in this uh, gas turbine power plant. Then uh, refrigerator, here the refrigerants, uh, refrigerants are used as a working, uh, working fluids. So, here also we are having four devices that is uh, expansion device, evaporator, compressor, condenser. These are the four devices we used in the refrigerator. And here we are also find out the refrigerant uh, COP of a refrigerator that is q2 by q1 minus q2 so next we will uh, we'll also learn about the heat pump how the heat pump works what is the difference between heat pump and a refrigerator in the ref a refrigerator will uh, maintain the temperature in a uh, low temperature in a, uh, uh, a room or a container uh, that is uh, a low temperature then comparative to the surroundings but a heat pump the high temp we have to maintain the Heat pump is used to maintain the high uh, temperature in the room uh, and uh, comparative to the surrounding temperatures. These are this is the heat pump. Then uh, heat engines. So uh, these are all four we have learned. That uh, the, in that what is happening? The heat is uh, heat and work are mutually convertible. Sometimes we are giving heat to the system. Sometimes of heat is generated from the system. So like this, and work will be uh, sometimes work is generated from the system. Sometimes work is given to the system. Like this, the uh, heat and work are how the heat and work are mutually convertible. We we have understood, hmm? and. Uh, the, that's why we are calling it as uh, heat engines. Heat in, uh, uh, in the heat engine, uh, two uh, types of heat engines are there: direct heat engine and then uh, reverse heat engine. The direct heat engine examples are steam power plant and closed cycle gas turbine power plant. Then uh, reverse heat engine. In the reverse heat engine, the example uh, uh, examples are refrigerator and heat pump. With this, I think. Uh, uh, my dear students, you have understood about the heat engines. I think uh, you will be able to calculate uh, the efficiencies of heat engines. So, if you uh, if you are uh, knowing the, about the steam power plants, if it is near to your office or some uh, near to your house, you can go and uh, visit some uh, power plants, or uh, or you can say uh, by uh, if any friends are there, you go and visit. So, the, you will um, uh, by live you know how the uh, heat engines will be work. So, uh, 
that is uh, you will better understood by uh, instead of studying you uh, by seeing uh, uh, live you, you will better understood so uh, please try to go and see the how the uh, steam power plant will work so so that you learn better so with this i'll Uh, conclude my uh, session i think uh, i have uh, completed uh, early uh, in this uh, session if you want to uh, uh, if you have any doubts you can you can contact me with uh, my uh, address is uh, given that is uh, a school of engineering and technology if you are in delhi you can uh, come and ask any questions if you are uh, outside delhi you can uh, mail to me or you can phone to me the mailing address is my uh, all small letters with uh, n venkateshwarlu at the rate of hotmail.com or uh, n venkateshwarlu at the rate of igno.ac.in or you can phone for uh, uh, 0112953 2863 this is a contact with this i'll uh, 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 completing my session thank you uh, thank you very much